me here at the New York Stock Exchange is Holly Newman Croft, Managing Director and Wealth Advisor at Newberger Berman. She oversees $4 billion in assets, is consistently ranked among the highest in wealth advisors from Barron's. Good to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. Especially in a time like today, because I know you manage a lot of very wealthy people's money, but our viewers want to know what, what you're telling them to do in this volatile environment. What are these client conversations like right now? Well, they're not as much fun as they were a year ago, I can tell you that. Yeah. But also volatility is not necessarily bad, and it's certainly not unexpected. We've got a lot going on in the world right now, a lot going on in the market. So we've been positioning our portfolios more defensively for the last little while to try and protect for our clients against the volatility. What is defensive? Because usually you might think bonds are a good safe haven. That's not, not working helping. too well. Yeah. yeah, so it means different things in different asset classes. Uh, in the fixed income sector, you mentioned bonds. We're staying very, very short duration um, because you can get a one-year muni bond today yielding 2%, and we think... You know, a year from now it might be higher, but it's certainly better than cash. We also like floating rate bond strategies that protect against inflation. Um, in the equity sector, we prefer value over growth. Your last guest just talked about the death of FANG, perhaps. We've been tilting away, away from growth into value. We also, at Newberger Berman, we like companies that return uh, income, provide income and return money to their shareholders. So we like dividends. dividends. We like dividends and we like companies that have proven to be able to grow their dividends. We're finding those in the consumer staples. We're finding those in utilities. You find those in real estate. And our managers rely on fundamental analysis to find the companies that will buffer the volatility and still be able to grow in time. Is like it too this. late, though, now to, to get into some of those strategies no. where some of these, these groups like staples and utilities are near the highs? You know, Sarah, it's never too late. It's, it's proven, if you look back to the history of the, of the market from the beginning, the market goes up 80 percent of the time. Sure, market timing would be great if you could time it perfectly, getting in and getting out. But you've heard the famous saying that market the Hall of Fame of market timers is an empty room. So it's never too late. What's really important is asset allocation and diversification. We don't like to position any of our clients or any of their portfolios to be able to be disproportionately hurt by a single stock, a single sector, a single asset class. We're also today moving money out of equities and into alternatives. We like some liquid, liquid hedge strategies mm -hmm. that are providing some buffer to the uh, inflation. And we like private equity and private debt because that's where we're seeing larger returns.